Well, you can find them on the street corner asking for money or hanging out downtown. But now, more money is on the table to help our homeless population get back on their feet. KXY Force Kylie Cruz working for you tonight with the city's push to curb homelessness in Spokane, specifically with veterans. Kylie? And Nadine, these veterans served our country, but for one reason or another, they ended up on the streets. In Spokane, the work is being done to change that cycle. In just the past few weeks, the city of Spokane and Goodwill were awarded nearly $8 million in federal grants to help the homeless find funding. When they ask you, where are we sleeping tonight? and you don't have an answer, it's a heartache as a mother. With no place to call home, Tanya Elmore and her family didn't know where to go. I literally sat with the phone book on the back of a toilet in a little bitty motel room and started calling every place that I could to find resources to help our family. Tanya's husband, Rolf, is a Navy vet. They moved to Spokane from Nebraska in early June to get Rolf better medical care. And along the way, um, our budget was shortened due to health reasons and just cost of travel. And no money, no jobs, they were out of luck. I was at the end of my rope strings, did not know what to do, and they they saved me. That saving grace, goodwill. They put us in a motel room, they got us some gas to help get on our feet, food. They, po food. they pointed us in the right direction Boy. to find jobs. The Elmores got help from Goodwill's Supportive Services for Veteran Families program called SSVF. Since last fall, the program has helped 180 at-risk veterans in the area. Everything is literally taken care of and um, I probably would be living out of the back of my truck right now had it not been for the help of SSBF. And more veteran families will continue to get help. Today, the mayor of Spokane, along with Goodwill CEO, announced $8 million in federal funding coming to Spokane aimed at helping homeless veterans. The goal, get more people like the Elmores off the streets and in a place they can call home sweet home. And in just a few days, the Elmore family will get keys to a new rental home. Right now, the family looking for jobs. Goodwill, of course, uh, helping with that process as well. And according to a survey conducted in January, homelessness among Spokane veterans dropped by 36% from last year. The city hopes with these additional funds, that number will continue to decline. In the studio tonight, Kelly Cruz, KXLY4 News.